Barbie core outfits. I got invited to an early screening of the movie. I am so excited. I feel like this is going to be the movie of the summer. There's been Barbie core outfit ideas, trending audios everywhere, all over social media because I feel like it's just such a good theme to dress up for. So I'm gonna be doing a little Barbie core dress up and finding an outfit to wear to the early screening. And I figure I may as well do some content for my own pages, fitting the Barbie core theme. So we're gonna be trying on a bunch of different outfits. And then I'm gonna take you guys to the screening with me. Obviously I can't show you the movie, but I'll tell you how it is. I pulled together literally everything. Oh God. Everything I possibly own that could be good for a Barbie core outfit. So I'm gonna dig through that. I need nine outfits for my video. Eight of them are gonna be Barbie-ish and one of them is gonna be brat, so it'll be all black. Let me show you the audio I'm gonna use. It's the one that's like, hi Barbie, hi Barbie. I used it in May, but it's been a few months now, so I'm gonna do it again. This is the audio. Hey, hi Barbie. You know the one, we don't have to listen to the whole thing. So I'm gonna rotate through nine different outfits and like technically it's a pretty easy video to film, but I just know when you're making that many outfits, my apartment's gonna be a disaster. So hopefully we'll keep it contained. Me being extremely type A, I wrote out all my notes for outfits. So I have different themes. I'm gonna do a workout one, snow bunny. I don't know, we'll see. I have cute as three of them. So just cute pink outfits. And then the one Bratz one I mentioned. So let's get started. I was surprised how many pink shoes I own. I actually have a lot right now. I definitely went through a phase like when I was in middle school, elementary school, I was like pink everything. My bed was pink. My entire room, if you walked in, was pink. And just because I felt like pink was like the cute color, so that's the one I always gravitated towards. And then high school through now, I feel like I've been on like an anti-pink phase where I felt like I used to wear pink so much, it's so girly, I don't wanna wear it as much. And now I'm kind of swinging back. I love a little like soft baby pink like this and just styling it in different ways because I feel like when you think of pink, you immediately think like fairy tale, cottage core, and I feel like there's cool ways to wear pink that aren't like that. <laughs> I just have a ton of random pink stuff now. In the last couple weeks, I've been accumulating more pink things because I knew I wanted to do this video, but I want to try to do pink outfits that aren't too girly and are kind of more my style mixed with the Barbie, if that makes sense. And I feel like a lot of that will come down to the accessories. I'm going to show you a few of the pieces that I really, really, really want to include, and then maybe I'll start building the outfits out from around there. This dress is so precious. I'm loaning it from the bar, and it's just so adorable. Very like Barbie fairy tale movie, I feel like. I'm not sure. I think I have to include it because it's just so pretty, but I don't know which one it'll be yet. This tweed skirt is from Maj and I just recently styled it in a really cute way so I might just recycle that whole outfit. This skirt has like hints of pink. I got it on Poshmark and it is maybe like my favorite Poshmark find ever. It's this little like handkerchief midi skirt and it is so adorable. Look at that little like delicate floral print. This is not pink, but I've been waiting for this to come onto the US Urban Outfitter site forever. I saw this one creator who's based in London had it six months ago and they just never brought it to the US site. So ah, I got it. I swear I almost got rid of these like six or seven times and I'm so glad I didn't because these are gonna be perfect for the video. I got them for a trip that they were on theme for two years ago. So I'm excited to actually get to use them now. These boots are obviously not pink, but I just got them from this brand called Knee High. And I just feel like they'll be really cool to like incorporate my personal style mixed with like Barbie vibes, you know? Two other accessories that are gonna need to find their way into my outfits are these jelly Melissa heel shoes with a little heart in back. These are just very Barbie Polly Pocket energy. And then this chunky pearl necklace is just very cute Barbie. So these two are definitely going into some cute outfits somewhere. I say we start with the easiest outfit. It's gonna be the workout one. We know we need the roller blades. I've got these little Fabletics pink socks that I think are perfect. So the hot pink mint green vibes. Okay, here's how we're currently looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the ninth one is the black one. Ugh, I really wanted to find a way to use these Jimmy Choo shoes I got at a sample sale a few weeks ago, but it doesn't look like they're going to vibe with anything. I think I'm most excited for the workout outfit and the snow bunny one, but I love everything. This might be like not so detail, but I have all these pink drinks that I thought could be cute to incorporate into the video too, just to add some little props and accessories. Even this little camera I have could be really cute to put in. The annoying part about outfit planning for these videos is I have them all organized in their piles, but I've got to move everything out of the way for filming. So I think I'm just gonna shimmy these down the I'm starting with the workout Barbie look because I just know the rollerblades are going to be a pain in the butt. I have all these little headbands that I got and since I don't have enough matching colors, I'm just kind of tying them around. I thought it'd be a cute little like mix and match maybe. The socks are hot pink so I tied the headband to that and I really wish I had the same color here. Like it would be so cute if I had two of these but like if I had the patience, I could cut this into two and make them match but I think it's fine. I really wanted to add more hair accessories to every look and for Coachella two years ago, I bought this entire bag of all these little like play clothes 
slips and I thought they'd be so cute. So I might just add them onto a few random outfits because I have every color under the sun and they just go so perfectly. Like these little flower ones are so Barbie energy. Yeah, I might do the green on top for this one. Just like a couple. Maybe I'll do two on the same side. That feels more Barbie-ish. So cute. So then I need to face this way. I can't have this side my head showing. So back to technical content stuff. Each clip, even though she just says, hi Barbie, is slightly different so i just timed out which one i'm doing for each outfit so this one is the second one and i'm batching them based on my hairstyle because i want to change it throughout the video so i'm going to do three different hairstyles and rotate the clips so let's film this first one i've got the audio pulled up on my laptop so i can listen to it hi barbie it's just that second one we're gonna do hi barbie let's get on the roller blades i feel like wearing these in the middle of my apartment is not gonna end well <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I'm gonna put you guys down there so you can see the full outfit because I feel like it's a better effect with the skates. So cute, right? This isn't gonna end well for me. I'm gonna film this from a different angle down here because I think it's better for this video. I think that was good. One out of nine outfits to go and I'm already sweaty. Just a little behind the scenes, this is my new hack for filming because I always like to use the back camera. This way when I'm filming all the way back here, I can see exactly what the camera sees in the little mirror. I'm actually already so sweaty. I knew this one would be the most like exerting just because of the the rollerblades, so hopefully it'll be a little bit quicker from here on out. Let's take off the clips without messing up my hair. Okay, thank you for your service. I'm gonna keep all the accessories in one place just so in case I need them for another outfit, they're not lost in the mess. So next up is the beach outfit, and this one I've been pretty nervous about to be honest. I think this is the only one I don't really like have a pink vibe for. So I have this white swimsuit, I have these pink Steve Madden slides, and then this pink bag thing, like towel holder. So I think that could be cute together. And then just like random hair ties if I need. But I did get this ginormous hat in the mail the other day, and it's just so like chic and cute. I feel like it's very like vintage Barbie, but I don't have a swimsuit that feels vintage Barbie. So I think I'm gonna try this and see how it all goes together, because it could be a moment. I feel like the hat and the swimsuit and the little pearl necklace I added are giving vintage Barbie, but the pink little bag and the pink shoes, I feel like ruin it. Maybe if I just hold this off to the side, like every outfit needs to have an element of pink, even though I feel like this gives Barbie in a way, it's not like as in your face. Maybe I should do it without the pink. Is that bad? Like just with the towel is a little more elevated. I think it really just looks better with these Charles and Keith like platform espadrille flip flops. So I'm gonna use these instead and then just hope that it comes across Barbie even though it's not like hot hot pink and this is pink so it's fine so I do like 10 or 11 takes of each one just so I have options and then I'll go through them later in editing so this is gonna be the last outfit in this hairstyle I am gonna do hot pink so I think I'm going with these Melissa jelly heels that smell amazing <laughs> and I have this little like ruffly mini dress that I've actually never worn before so I'm excited it's the only hot pink thing I own so I was thinking this could be the fancy outfit I'm probably just gonna try it with this little fuzzy bolero even though it's like 90 degrees today I gave it a little steam but this is the hot pink dress you can't see the whole bottom but it looks perfect with the hot pink heels I just always feel like an outfit is not like outfitting unless it has some accessories on I have necklaces but I think it needs a little zhuzh I feel like a super iconic Barbie moment is like a headscarf with some sunglasses but maybe for one of the more like casual outfits because this one's like the fancy one I have a few of these little skinny scarves like this could be really cute with the fluffy it's not my favorite but I feel like it's doing its own thing like it's just one of the ones in the middle it's not one of my like featured moments here's a little details up close I actually kind of love it let's film this one so this one's Ken saying hi Barbie I think that's good time to shed it's so hot I haven't been changing my makeup between all the looks because I'm just not really like a makeup person but I'm gonna try to switch my hair to now outfit number four this one's at the halfway point hopefully this one looks good and I don't need to mess around with it too much I have a feeling this is gonna be the one I will want to wear to the screening so let's see how it looks I got this top from meow a while ago and I haven't worn it in a minute so I'm excited to be styling it again for the next batch of looks I do have my little clip-on ponytail that I'm gonna throw on just to add to like the Barbie vibe I I really miss when I have long hair, but sometimes I just feel like a little zhuzh kind of adds something to a photo. And it's Barbie, so why not? The whole middle's feeling kind of empty, so I have this tiny little waist chain I'm just gonna add on, so there's like a little something happening. I feel like sometimes it just adds a little bit of sparkle. You probably can't even see it on camera. These are going to look sick. They're actually so comfy too. I've only worn them around the house though, so I don't know. I think this is the look that deserves the mega heart. Honestly, this looks like something a Barbie might wear. I'm just gonna keep layering the necklaces because I love having more on. Let's film this video and keep going because I'm getting really tired. This is gonna be the first clip in the whole thing. 
When I get really stressed, my ears start popping and my ears are popping. I can't hear anything out of my right ear, but I'm gonna keep going. I have three more outfits left. I actually just checked my paper and I have no idea what math I was doing because I have five left. One of them is the Brad's one. Okay, this next outfit is like the PJ one. So I'm just kind of building it on the fly. I know I want the ponytail. I think we'll start with the pink face because I don't have anything else pink. And then I have these house slippers from Rome that are pink. So I think these are just where we're gonna start with and then maybe layer like white stuff on top. This little bolero situation thing is so perfect. It is impossible to put on, but it's from Sweet Chillin' and it came as a set with another thing, but I keep wearing it over other stuff because it's just so perfect for adding like a little extra style to something super plain. This is about to get so sweaty in here. Ah, my nails keep getting stuck in. I'm just gonna check in with you once this is on. made it in very cute so the pink is just super subtle little popping out yeah this is adorable this was my original idea with these little shorts but now i'm seeing the cream and the white that always just stresses me out i think it's fine though because i don't have any cream shorts that i know of okay a few different ideas to bring pink into the outfit i've got this mansoor gabrielle bag that is cute but i don't know if it really fits like the pj vibe this scrunchie from kitsch which i might just put on my wrist anyways and then just a little garage ribbon maybe i'll just pin on top yeah that's really cute while i was digging for bobby pins i remembered i have these little clips that are so freaking cute. I got them from Urban Outfitters and I love a little dangly clip moment but these flowers are just so adorable and very Barbie so I don't know if they go with this outfit but maybe I'll find a way to work them in somewhere. No. I really really wanted to incorporate the drinks into some of the outfits but I feel like it's just too much. Like the coffee with the PJs could be the morning but I don't know if it really makes sense. I also have this alpaca bear but I don't know if it's also too much. Too many decisions. I think it's cute. We'll use it in there. This one's just a super quick hi Barbie. Thank goodness I wrote this all out because I would be a mess if I did not. So we're done with that one. One, two, three, four to go. Oh, that means the transition in the video isn't gonna be perfect and it's fine, but I am so anal about stuff like that. It's okay. No one's gonna notice, maybe, hopefully. I'm putting on these jelly shoes from Melissa for the next outfit. I feel like this one's kind of giving very much Mean Girls, but it's cute. These are so comfy. I have them in two colors. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, got my little jelly shoes. Last time I wore this skirt, I styled it with like black boots, but I'm really trying not to wear any black in this video. So I think I'm gonna do this little cream terry top and then a pink cardigan over it. Let's see how that looks. I feel like this just looks fine, but it's not the most flattering thing I've ever worn. Maybe if we add some sunglasses. There's these ones that are Miu Miu that are pretty cute. Or these from Urban Outfitters could also be a vibe. Maybe that adds a little edge. I personally pick the edgy ones, but I feel like Barbie would pick these ones, so we'll go with these. Then people will be staring at the glasses and not the rest of the outfit. <laughs> I am so mad at myself for not wearing these little vintage starfish clip-on earrings that I got on Etsy. They would have been so perfect. Maybe not for my swim look, but they feel very Barbie, so maybe it's not too late to incorporate them. I am pissed. I forgot about the headscarf. I think I'm gonna either redo that clip or do a different one just to incorporate this because it's essential to my happiness now. Okay, this was the new Better Vibe Unlocked and it works with the Urban Outfitters ones I tried on. Okay, we're getting down there. This is the dress from the bar. It is so freaking cute and delicate and just beautiful. All the little details up top, everything is so cute. I had a stroke of genius though while I was trying to figure out how to make this outfit more interesting. I have all these hair ties with the little ribbons. They're like pre-made ribbons, so just putting them around your wrist, like little corsages, I don't know, just adds a little something. So that's what I added for this outfit. I'm just wearing them with these white Steve Madden platform shoes. They're just perfect with everything. They're a little bratsy, but I think they're cute. Okay, let's film this one. We're finally onto the last Barbie look. I have no idea how or why I made the decision to wear so many cold weather outfits when it's so hot outside. I am melting, but this is the cute little Hello Kitty ski set I have. It's actually not a ski set, it's just ribs. I haven't worn this in like two years, so I'm glad I kept it around. Here are all the accessories I'm kind of messing around with. I have these fuzzy black mittens that would be perfect. Maybe also with the big puffy white is very, very Barbie. I also have these white glasses I tried to wear earlier that would look good. And this bag, I'm sad I haven't worn yet. I don't know if it really goes with this, but I wish I had wanted something. I also just have these white ear puffs, which you can't go wrong with. For shoes, I really wanted to wear these pink ones, but they don't really make sense with the skiing, so I think I'm gonna go with my Naked Wolf boots. Boots, glasses, hat, mittens. I wish I had ski poles, like, for the effect. Preparing to sweat to death in three, two, one. Oh yeah, that's toasty. This is really cute, though. <laughs> Honestly, maybe this is the perfect moment for the cut and the things. I kinda need some props. 
This is cute as brick, but for six months from now, not today. I did a little change for the brats part. It's just the one quick line, super easy. I put in the little flower hair clip, so it's still kind of like cutesy. And then I put these big ones and then I added red lip and just retouched a little bit of eye makeup. I have this halter top from Ankh Boss that I am obsessed with and I really want to wear it for fashion week, but I figured I'd give it a little debut moment now. And then like the same tool skirt I wore for the first outfit in the video, but in black. And I love it. When I was thinking of this video concept immediately, I was like, I need to wear my naked wolf boots because they're the definition of brat's energy. So we're going to be putting these with, and I feel like I need a bag too, but let's put the shoes on and then figure it out. These are so comfy once you're inside of them, but getting in them is the draw. Very cute. I'm thinking this Rebecca Minkoff bag might be cute. Just a little like glam because all the other ones are so girly and this one's kind of like edgy glam. Let's film this one. It's the last look for my video. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this one to the Barbie premiere. I feel like that would be too much. So I'm going to look back and pick one of those ones and then I'm going to take you guys with. The other thing I was thinking with this outfit it kind of reminds me of the Margot Robbie dress she wore to the premiere where everyone thought she was gonna wear pink and she showed up in black with a little classic Barbie look with a little tool flare this is kind of like my little version of that all black with a little tool flare but still kind of like Barbie energy in a way so that's what we're kind of going for with this look even though this is the brass one let's do this last clip might have literally just been fate. My storage just ran out the second I was like, okay, I've done enough. I got enough clips there. Ah, oh, I think it didn't even film any of these ones. Oh, oh, it went, it went, it went, it went. Yeah. I got it, okay, perfect, we're done, we're done. I'm so happy I got this black outfit. I'm obsessed with how it looks. Definitely gonna be wearing that one again. I wanna post this video tomorrow, so I'm gonna get to editing that later once I get cleaned up. But right now, I wanna pick which one I'm gonna wear. Now that I can like look at them all on my phone and see how they look from a third perspective. Obviously not wearing the rollerblades. That would be so funny though, imagine. So I'm gonna edit in a minute. I'm probably gonna shower, I'm so sweaty. Right now, I wanna figure out which dress or which outfit to wear for the screening. The hot pink dress could be really cute. That one's very costumey. I just don't see myself in hot pink, even though I feel like I look pretty good in it, even though I don't wear it that much. I don't know, I'm swirling. That dress is pretty good. Might be too formal though. I love, <gasps> I love the one with the white boots and the yellow skirt. I feel like that's just kind of unique too. It's like fun that it has little other colors in it besides the pink and the top is very Barbie, I feel like, especially with the ponytail. That's what I'm leaning towards. Although maybe if I just swap out one piece of it, like maybe the boots, I don't know, something about it is a little off to me. The pajama one is cute, but just not wearable for outside and it's gonna be way too hot. Although I'm always cold in a movie theater. The headscarf is iconic. It just doesn't really make sense like at night in a movie theater, but I love that one. I feel so pretty in the pink dress from the bar. If it was like a movie premiere, I would probably wear it, but just for like regular, like it's just a screening. So it's just going to the movie early basically. I feel like that's a little too formal for that occasion. The ski one, absolutely not. I'm not even gonna talk about why we're not wearing that one. The black is so good. That's the one I feel like the best in, but that's not happening. So I think I'm gonna go with a plaid top, yellow skirt, white boots. Maybe I'll do a quick couple adjustments, but I'll take you guys with me day of. I'm gonna go clean up and then start editing. Luckily, this one should be a quick edit though, just because you only need the snippets with the sound. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It took like two hours to film, but now I'm gonna need eight hours to clean everything up. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> I finished editing. I think it looks okay, but I'm pissed that I hit the disco ball and I hit the tripod and I hit the frames and everything kind of fell a little bit. So I'm like so particular about things. And if you watch it slowly, it doesn't line up perfectly, but I think it came out okay. Now watching back at the outfits, I think I'm gonna do the tutu outfit, like I said earlier, but maybe I'll do a couple little changes. So we'll see. I have a couple days until the screening. So I cannot wait for that, but I'll just digest and see how I feel about the outfit. And we'll check out the weather because it might be pouring rain. So check back in with you in a couple days. I just got my order from Rent the Runway and I am pissed that these didn't come when I was filming my video yesterday. Like, look at this. It's like too short to wear in public, but for that video, maybe I should film another one, to be honest. Like, we might need a part two. I thought the other one couldn't be topped. Maybe it can. Can you see the whole thing? It's got this little, like, bubble skirt, the little mixed fabric on top. It's uh, so good. They're both just, like, too formal, probably, for the vibe, but damn. I look better in hot pink than I thought I did. Wait, here's a little angle so you can see the full body. <gasps> Pockets, dropped waist. Ugh, I wanna wear this somewhere. I love these two dresses, but I feel like they're just too formal for what we're going for. Like if I show up to a regal theater wearing this, people are gonna think that I thought I was going to like the fucking LA premiere or something and we're just going to a screening. So these are gonna be no's, but I think I'm gonna have to make more videos in them or do the video again. No, I don't have that kind of energy, but 
I can probably do a different Barbie video to feature these because they are just so good. Screenings tomorrow. I've gone back and forth on the tutu because I just feel like it's going to blow up and make me angry. So I might wear the skirt and find something else to wear it with. I don't know. I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll figure out what I'm wearing. It is the day of the screening. I'm so excited. It hasn't really sunk in that I'm seeing it yet, but I'm so pumped. I saw a review of someone who went and she said it was not what she was expecting and not as deep as she was expecting. But then she also said it was deep, so I don't really know what that means, but we'll see. At this point, you've seen all of my outfit options. Now that I've sat with it for a couple days, I think the tutu is too much. That's gonna be over the top for this event. So I'm thinking we go with the skirt. I'm gonna put it on, see how it feels, figure out from there. I feel like the top half should be pink but we'll work with what we've got it's kind of a cute full circle moment the movie theater we're going to where the screening is is actually the one that is like my childhood movie theater downtown and that's where i saw every movie up until high school this is the base of what we're working with same score skins top and then these boots from circus ny i have a ton of different jewelry i put on that i might mix and match but i don't really know what to do with my hair so i think that's the first decision i think i have to go with this necklace and i'm not sure if i should keep the little clippies or swap them out for these really big ones that i love they're kind of like more of a statement, but then I have to switch all my jewelry to silver. Okay, I think we'll stick with gold. I'm probably gonna try to slick this back somehow. I got caught in the rain earlier today, so I had my hair down and I spent so long styling it really cute, but now it is disgusting. A lot of events I go to, I always try to think like if I'm sitting at a table, waist up, what does my outfit look like? Because I was at a dinner table like this, you would not think I was going to a Barbie event, except for the necklace actually would be perfect. But this one, not seeing anyone, so ready to go. Just bringing my subway show for the train because I'm coming back later at night, so just in case. So I got here like 20 minutes beforehand because I was so nervous about being here late. So I'm just gonna hang out for a second and then head over to the theater. I might need to take a video of my outfit for TikTok because I was doing a little series about all the outfits I've done, so I might just wrap that up quickly. That is the building where I grew up. the movie theater. Spotted people going in wearing pink, so I think that's a good sign. I swear, I really did try to come on time, and I'm never early in my entire life, but like today, super early. I still have 10 minutes to kill, so maybe I'll get some popcorn. Yay, everyone else came in pink too, so cute. We're in a little line for our drink tickets and popcorn. Cuties! I have no idea, honestly, because I didn't even see the trailer. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. I've yeah. seen every single trailer. I'm very excited. What do you think? I think it'll be good. <laughs> okay, in we go. Enjoy the movie. Woo! I have someone here from Warner Brothers who's making sure that nobody's taking any videos during the movie. The Warner Brothers security has binoculars to figure out if we're recording during the movie. Very scary, very official. Here we go. I have a headache from that ginormous soda. I thought I'd do my thoughts while I'm fresh out of the theater here. I really, really liked it, but I think watching all the trailers, I watched so many like partnership videos and interviews and stuff. I think that spoiled it, to be honest. I wish I went in blind and I just wish I didn't know as much. Even just the trailers that came out, I feel like I already saw too much. I think all the trailers and everything were like great hype to get people into the theaters. But once I was there, I felt like I already knew pretty much everything that was going to happen. And I've been very deep on like Barbie TikTok. So I, I think I just researched a little, I didn't even research. I feel like I just saw too much leading up to it. So the sets weren't a surprise, the outfits weren't a surprise, the general storyline, there were some things that were like a little shocking to me without spoilers. I think the general storyline was everything I was expecting based on the trailer. So that part didn't really feel like a surprise, but I don't know if it was that like wow movie of the year. I feel like Little Mermaid was a little bit more of that for me this year. It was so much fun. There was a bunch of other creators there all with YouTube shorts and it was cool to just meet a bunch of new people and everyone luckily was wearing pink. I definitely could have gone more. Like, 
Like some people were very, very formal. People were very dressed up. I'm happy with the outfit I chose, but I think my fluffy one also would have worked with that crowd. People were really dressed up. Anywho, I can't wait to see your Barbie core outfits. I feel like there's so many cute ones out there. I have a ton of more Barbie content that I'm putting together just because it's a fun theme to dress for. And I'm surprised how much I like pink now. I might be converted. The costumes though and the set were impeccable. I think they might have gotten some vintage archive Chanel stuff out there or had certain partnerships because everything was like on point. Like some of the Barbie outfits were so good. Just to raid that closet would be insane. If you guys are going to the movie, hopefully all these outfit ideas gave you some inspo for what to wear. This has been a fun little adventure for me into the world of pink and the world of Barbies. I don't wear a lot of pink, but if you guys are interested in my style, I do a lot of different styling videos over on Instagram and TikTok at Ray Hersey. You guys can find me there and I'll see you next time. Bye.